pH indicators are a useful tool that allow us to know when we've reached a particular pH during an acid-base titration. The indicators themselves are typically weak acids, and what happens is the acid and its conjugate base have different colors, so there is an acid equilibrium going on. So if we have an indicator in a solution and we start adding H plus in the form of acid, the equilibrium will shift to the left and whatever the color of our indicator is, HIN, um, will appear. Likewise, if we start adding in OH minus, this is going to reduce the amount of hydronium and by Le Chatelier's principle, this is gonna cause our equilibrium to shift to the right. And so our solution will appear the color of whatever the conjugate base is. So the important part of pH indicators is when the concentration of our weak acid and the concentration of its conjugate base are equal to each other, we get a very specific color. And so that allows us to know when we've reached a defined pH. So this occurs when our pH is equal to the pKa of the solution. So indicators are really good at allowing us to know what a, uh, when we've reached a particular pH. So in general, um, you will have that intermediate color when the pH is plus or minus one of the pKa. Um, if we our pH is, is less than one away from our pKa, we will have the color of our acid, HIN. And if our pH is greater than one away from the pKa, we will have the color of the conjugate base, uh, IN minus. So if you want to use an indicator to know when a particular solution has reached a certain pH, you need to pick an indicator whose pKa is close to the pH that you want. So a, a typical indicator is methyl red and that has a pKa of 5.2. So methyl red would be a good indicator if we are trying to say titrate a solution to a pH of about 5.2. So if we are using methyl red and the pH was less than 4.2, we would see the acidic form of methyl red, which is a red color. If the pH was greater than 6.2, you would see the um, color for the conjugate base, which is yellow. And if our pH was very close to 5.2, you would see the combination of these two, red and yellow, which is orange. That's our intermediate color, and that's when we know the pH is going to be fairly close to the pKa of our indicator.